Hey friends, today I'm going to show you how to make your very own glow-in-the-dark acrylic powder. I'm a huge fan of do-it-yourself projects, so I figured I would give this a shot. What you're going to need is your choice of clear or pink acrylic by Mia Secret or whatever acrylic system you have. White acrylic powder. One teaspoon for exact measurement if you are that type of person, instead of eyeballing it. I have these little jars that I'm going to use to store my acrylic in and glow powder. I will have this linked in the description box below for you to use if you are interested in purchasing. You'll need nail swatches, a marker to label, and let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so you have your choice of eight color pigments that come in the bag. Right here you only see seven because I had a trial run earlier with one of the pigments. But um, we're going to go ahead and start off with the color blue. And you are going to need to get out your clear acrylic. I did two scoops of the clear acrylic, one scoop of the white. And then I will do one scoop of the blue, which I'll just pour into the teaspoon and you like I said you can use the pink acrylic but be aware that you might have a pink hue to it which you'll see in the swatches at the end of the video you do have the option to stir but I would recommend shaking the pigment together so that way it makes it a little better but um, since I took the lid off I see that it's still not as blue as I would like it to be so I'm going to add some more pigment and shake it up some more try to stir and see if it makes a difference but I still want more blue you obviously don't have to follow the measurements step by step this is just to give you a guide you don't have to include white if you don't want to the white just makes it more opaque you can do all clear for a more translucent look Add enough glow pigment for it just to glow or do like I am and have your own colored glow pigment. I went ahead and swatched the top as I work. The next color that I'm doing is pink. I'm mixing up how I'm adding it in just to see what might mix easier. Just because I've noticed like it can get a little chalky with the white pigment being added in there but I don't want my colors to be translucent. So I'm trying to make it work here. One of the things that I like about the containers that I'm using here is you can see whether or not the pigment is mixing together well instead of having to open it every time to make sure. Um, you're able to tell because it looks marbleized if it's not completely mixed together. And I don't want it to look chalky, which is why I'm swatching it on the paper towel. And I'm going to keep mixing because I don't like how it's looking. Also, don't be discouraged if the consistency seems a little off to you in the beginning or the swatches look a little chalky or swirled like it does here. Um, the more you mix, the better it'll actually turn out. You just have to get used to the, the consistency of it. Obviously my next color is yellow and again I'm just trying to figure out a different way to mix it together so that way if it can if it'll make it easier for y'all and y'all don't have to worry about shaking it up as much as I shook these things it will save you some time.
I honestly believe that this mix right here is one of is my favorite out of this collection that I made. Um, it kind of reminds me of uh, the Boogeyman off of Nightmare Before Christmas, which is one of my favorite movies. And it glows so beautifully. You'll see at the end. So the orange is the last one that I mixed up. I had two other pigments remaining and I decided not to use them because one was a clear that glowed green and the other one was a yellow green and I already have a green. So um, I'm going to go ahead and mix these up and then gather them all, continue to shake them probably for about five minutes and then we will swatch them. Alright friends, we're going to go ahead and start swatching. I literally shook them for about five minutes. I took them all in my hand and I shook them while listening to the song Candy by Cameo just to make it a little more fun. Fun fact I thought you should know. You can see that the application is not near as marbleized as it was. I honestly don't see any marbling in uh, these swatches. So shaking it was really worth it. All right, so we finished swatching. I am going to empty out my dappin' dish from the monomer and pour some acetone in to soak my brushes in for a little while while we get everything else ready to apply the top coat and cure. And I apologize for the ugly mark that is on my hand. I burned it the other day and it's still in the process of healing, so. So with the glow powders that I have that are open, I'm just going to carefully place them back in the bag and make sure that they don't spill. Um, I have a secure place that I'm going to place them once they're sealed and I'll take it from there. I will be using my D&D gel top coat just to give them a nice shine and a finished look. The swatch that you see here is the swatch that I did before I started recording the video. It is the sky blue glow pigment with um, the clear acrylic compared to me using the pink acrylic, which you'll see at the end of the video. Okay, and we are going to go ahead and cure it in my UV LED body lamp for 99 seconds. The first swatch that you see here is the Pink Mia Secret Acrylic mixed with the Sky Blue Glow in the Dark pigment. 
I wasn't too fond of the pink hue, so I went ahead and mixed it with just the clear and the white acrylic by Mia Secret. And you'll see that swatch at the very end. And here you have it friends, this is the complete collection of our do-it-yourself glow acrylic powders. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Here is the view of them in the dark after they've been charged. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!